Hi, this is Annabella, and recently I read a quote from a well-known black and white photographer named John Sexton, who developed his skills working in the darkroom alongside Ansel Adams, perhaps the most influential photographer of the 20th century. Anyway, the quote goes like this. I truly believe that 51% of my images, success takes place in the darkroom. Well, here's what I believe. Today, 51% of all digital images, success takes place in Photoshop. Right now, Photoshop is the easiest and yes, the fastest way to take good photos and transform them into great photographs using simple, straightforward, raw conversion and photo editing techniques. And in this free video, I'm going to show you why and what this means to your photography. And more important, I'm going to show you how you can do it too using Photoshop and you don't need an expensive camera, you don't need a supercomputer and you definitely don't need fancy computer skills. But let's back up for a minute. You see, when I was fresh out of university, after completing my degree in photography, I got my first job in the industry working as a technician for a professional photographic lab, which for a photographer was like being a kid in a candy store. I had access to the best photographic equipment money could buy. I'm talking about millions of dollars worth of high-tech machinery right at my fingertips. From high-resolution film scanners, digital LVT film recorders, to large format LED photographic printers, just to name a few. And here's the verdict that I kept coming back to. No matter what equipment I used, the difference between a good print and a bad one came down to one influencing factor, Adobe Photoshop. In image after image, Photoshop did two things really well. It helped me convert everyday images into high quality commercial prints, and it helped me restore cherished memories for family photo albums. Of course, I suppose if you can only do two things well, those are two pretty good things. So let's start off by talking about why photos don't always turn out as planned and what you can do right now to rescue them. But first, let me ask you a question. You're a passionate photographer, right? You want to travel the world with your favourite camera, taking great photos, capturing those magic moments of your children at play, and preserving your family's memories for future generations. And you've seen the latest photographs from big name photographers in our industry over the last few months. So as a photographer, can you tell me the last big, and I mean big name photographer that didn't use Photoshop? Exactly, and there's a reason for that. Photoshop is more than just a piece of software. It's a place where creativity and ideas are realized and rewarded. In essence, Photoshop is the digital equivalent of the traditional darkroom. I have fond memories of my first makeshift darkroom squeezed into my bathroom. Photography has come a long way since then, and although the tools and technologies have changed, the fundamentals of photography still remain the same, but with one exception. In the 1930s and 40s, photographers needed to know how to get the best out of their film through traditional processing and printing techniques. In the 1970s and 80s, photographers began to spend less time film processing and printing with the assistance of services offered by professional photographic labs, like the one I worked in. And now, with so many digital devices at our fingertips, anyone is capable of capturing high-resolution imagery with relative ease, and the concept of creativity has somewhat been lost on the masses. The bottom line is, the act of creating a photograph doesn't stop with your digital camera. You still need to process your photos, even though we're not using chemicals or darkrooms. The other day, I actually had somebody tell me that they're a purist, and that they don't use image editors like Photoshop. Well, I asked them then, do you use grad filters, polarizers, or different ASAs of film? And you know what? They didn't really respond because they knew I had them. The fact is, your images shouldn't suffer. You should make them the best that they can be because photography is a creative medium that empowers artistic expression. Here's a perfect example of the role creativity can play when things just don't go right on assignment. At first, this photograph may appear to be quite straightforward, but in reality it's not, and that's because I only had one opportunity to capture this photograph, hanging out of an open cockpit, rubber band propelled, home built aircraft flying at 4,000 feet. And if that wasn't a tall order, by the time we reached our remote destination, we only had enough fuel for one pass before we needed to head back to the airfield. So after planning to photograph Mount Lindsay at sunset, the reality was we actually turned back half an hour prior in order to make it back before dark, ruining any chance of capturing the perfect sunset. So what I actually captured was this. 
and I admit whilst the perspective from which it was photographed is impressive, the photograph is not, and unfortunately the possibility of a reshoot wasn't on the cards. I'm sure you've experienced a similar situation that you wish would have turned out differently. So if you were in my position, what would you do? By now, most photographers would either make do with the photos that they've got, or discard them altogether, simply because they don't understand the power of Photoshop. They're afraid of the technology, they're intimidated, and they incorrectly think that it takes too much time to learn how to use. Well trust me, all of those assumptions are dead wrong. And Photoshop on the surface may appear to be quite daunting at first, but here's the good news. You only really need to know how to use a handful of features and tools to easily start improving your photos. And I'll prove it. So the first thing I decided to do with this photograph was to create the feeling of a late evening sunset, just as the Earth's shadow is cast across the horizon. To do this, I created a mask to isolate the majority of the sky and then introduced a new gradient layer that would reproduce the appropriate hues and tonal values. Then I duplicated and inverted this mask so that I could independently adjust the density, contrast and colour of Mount Lindsay and the surrounding areas. Not bad, but I felt as though something was still missing, which is why I included the moon. To get the moon just right, I resized it, added a gradient mask, changed the blending mode and reduced the opacity until the moon and sky were one. So as you can see, there weren't a lot of steps involved in rescuing this image, and that's just one example of how Photoshop can be used to enhance your photographs. In the heart of New Zealand's famous Milford Sound, I captured this image of Lady Bowen Falls from the deck of a tourist charter boat. But unfortunately, because the incredible distance from which this was taken made it impossible to render any impression of a rainbow, and so I added one. But this works with more than just landscapes. In this portrait, I changed the background colour and gave each of the flower girls fairy wings. In this wedding photo, I wanted to draw focus solely on the bride and groom. So to do this, I just removed unwanted objects from the background. The list goes on and on, but when all is said and done, Photoshop will make you a better photographer. I know you know this. So ask yourself, do you really need another expensive, glitzy, super complicated digital camera to create amazing photographs? And if being nervous about your computer skills is stopping you, maybe you should think about Photoshop again. I'm sure you'd agree that anything you can do to improve the quality of your photography is something worth focusing on, and after years of working in the photographic industry, I've decided it's time to start sharing my knowledge and expertise with those who are looking to create better photographs through simple, straightforward, proven techniques, which is why I created Digital Darkroom Pro, an online training program where I reveal industry secrets that'll give you an unfair advantage over your competition. So I just want to give you an overview of what's inside Digital Darkroom Pro. In Module 1, you'll learn the secrets behind Photoshop's most powerful feature sets, layers, selections, and compositing. You'll learn professional, non-destructive editing techniques and the importance that they play in achieving high-quality results. I'll show you my three-step process to extract and change backgrounds in your photographs, and you'll discover why layer blending styles and modes are indispensable and really help to bring out the best in your photos. You'll also learn how to correctly save your photos for the web, and why JPEG isn't always the best file format to save your photographs in. In Module 2, I'll teach you how to successfully retouch and remove unwanted objects from your photographs in a matter of minutes, and how to take ordinary black and white images and convert them into spectacular colour. I'll show you the secret steps for balancing Photoshop levels in under 60 seconds, and you'll learn simple concepts and techniques for correcting colour casts within your photographs. I'll teach you how to change the depth of field in images you've already captured without ever having to touch your camera, and you'll also discover how to really use the Content Aware tool. In Module 3, I'll show you how to seamlessly stitch multiple images together to create perfect panoramic photographs. I'll show you how Photoshop Actions can quickly improve your workflow and productivity. You'll learn how to merge multiple exposures into a high dynamic range photograph. How to correctly color manage your photos to achieve consistent color. And I'll reveal professional tricks for creating perfect prints that match what you see on screen. And you'll also learn how to easily boost your computer's performance when working with large image files in Photoshop. And that's not all, because Digital Darkroom Pro includes over 50 video tutorials, plus downloadable resources to help accelerate your success. 
With over eight hours of premium education and training, you'll have everything you need to hit the ground running, all from within your online members portal. So it doesn't really matter if you do this at 9 o'clock in the evening or 1 a.m. in the morning, you can go through this course at your own pace. And you don't need the latest version of Photoshop. The principles taught in this course can easily be adapted to suit any version of Photoshop, including that of Photoshop Elements. So whilst the majority of what you'll learn is taught using the newest version of Photoshop, you definitely don't need to upgrade in order to be able to go through Digital Darkroom Pro and achieve stunning results. Plus, as a bonus, you'll be invited to join my private Facebook community, which is solely focused on helping you succeed in becoming a better photographer. Now, if you're at all familiar with my work, it's always of the highest standard. And if you would hire me or any other professional photographer or Photoshop coach, it would usually come with a premium price. And Digital Darkroom Pro is no exception. Well, except for the price. And while I was really comfortable selling Digital Darkroom Pro at $297, there was just one problem. Even though the people I meet on photo walks spend thousands of dollars on all sorts of digital cameras, equipment and accessories, they were still asking me these very fundamental questions about digital photography. Which seems to me that even if you've spent big money on a digital camera, that doesn't always mean that you're going to capture and create amazing photographs. So Digital Darkroom Pro is not $297. But the ideal customer for Digital Darkroom Pro is still someone who's passionate and wants rock solid fundamental Photoshop techniques to take their digital photography to the next level. But because I really want to help as many photographers as I can, I still think that this course should be affordable while still giving hundreds of dollars worth of value. So if you register today, you'll get Digital Darkroom Pro for just one payment of $97. I figure that's what the average photography enthusiast would spend on a new filter or bag for their camera, which seemed like an honest price. Of course, I've also got a 100% money back guarantee that comes with all of my trainings. So you can try this course for a full 60 days, and if you don't get your money's worth within the first two months, all you have to do is send me an email at customer support and I'll gladly give you a complete refund. No hard feelings. So all you need to do is click the add to cart button below and complete the checkout process to receive instant access to all the video tutorials and resources. You'll be sent your login credentials via email so make sure that you check for typos and misspellings on the next page. And since you get all this material up front there's no risk to you and if you don't like it or don't think that it'll work for you after consuming the training just ask for a refund. So to get started right away click the add to cart button below and within no time at all you'll be creating amazing photographs just like the pros. Thank you for watching and I'll see you inside the members portal.